If you want to improve your tinnitus, you need to understand this one number that you've probably never heard of before. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and co-founder of Modern Tinnitus in Scottsdale, Arizona. And in this video, I'm explaining heart rate variability and how it is already completely changing how we treat your tinnitus. Heart rate variability or HRV is nothing new. It's literally been used for decades in the medical field, especially cardiology. However, recently, since the widespread availability of different wearable devices that can measure HRV, other areas such as health and fitness, and yes, even tinnitus care has started to use it. Now, just in case this is the very first time that you're even hearing about HRV, just think of it as a measure of the variation in time between your heartbeats. It is not your heart rate. For instance, you may have a heart rate of 60 beats per minute, but what we're talking about here with HRV is the time in between your heartbeats. This time is usually measured in milliseconds and it will give you your heart rate variability. There are normative ranges of HRV in milliseconds based on age and gender, but as you can see, these ranges are on the large side. These normative ranges are also slightly higher for males than females and much higher for younger individuals versus older individuals. HRV provides us with a glimpse into your sympathetic and parasympathetic branches of your autonomic nervous system. Low HRV indicates that your autonomic nervous system is not effectively switching between your sympathetic and parasympathetic branches, usually meaning that you're spending more time in your sympathetic nervous system indicating higher levels of stress. And high HRV indicates indicates that your autonomic nervous system is effectively switching between your sympathetic and parasympathetic branches, indicating lower levels of stress. It is important to note that you want a healthy balance between your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system. You do not want to be overweighted in either direction. Now, even more important than you knowing where you're at compared to the normative data of HRV, it's important that you understand your own baseline HRV and the fluctuations in your HRV. But why does any of this even matter, and why does it specifically matter for tinnitus? Well, when it comes to things like health and fitness, HRV can help you understand if you're overtraining or undertraining or if you're getting enough rest. Then you can modify your training schedule for optimal performance. In regard to tinnitus, though, HRV can be used to identify if you're experiencing higher than normal levels of stress, which will have a direct impact on your tinnitus symptoms. And once this is identified, even if you're not feeling stressed out, steps can be taken to reduce your overall stress levels by implementing lifestyle modifications or evidence-based tinnitus treatments. In a recent Apple Health study, in collaboration with the University of Michigan, researchers identified that higher HRV was beneficial for every tinnitus variable that they looked at, showing how powerful this metric can be for tinnitus care. For years, tinnitus treatment has been based on how you're feeling in the moment, but that's already starting to change. We're already using HRV to determine how well you're responding to a tinnitus treatment. And just like an athlete can evaluate their HRV to determine what their optimal training and recovery schedule is, tinnitus clinicians can evaluate your HRV and determine how they wanna modify your tinnitus treatment. The problem is, it can be extremely confusing looking at all of this HRV data that's out there from all of these different wearable devices, let alone trying to figure out what the heck all of that means when it comes to your tinnitus. That's why leading tinnitus expert, Dr. Craig Cass and I developed a digital platform that allows tinnitus clinicians to easily make sense of your HRV data, turning random numbers into real insights. We call it Modern Tinnitus Basecamp. Using Basecamp, we're able to monitor a variety of different biomarkers, including your heart rate variability, to give us an objective look at your physiology and how it may be impacting your tinnitus. It allows us to do several things. First, it allows us to identify your baseline HRV values. Once we understand your baseline, we're able to see variations off of your baseline to indicate if your tinnitus treatment is going well or if your tinnitus treatment is not being effective. Once we understand your baseline, we can start seeing variations off of your baseline so we can start to identify what's triggering your tinnitus. Second, when we know and can measure your HRV trends, we can start to identify what tinnitus treatments are working really well for you and what tinnitus treatments are not working well for you. Clinicians who use Basecamp can see patterns in your HRV that used to be invisible to them, giving them the ability to make better and more informed decisions. Essentially taking the abstract, subjective, and sometimes kooky world of tinnitus care and objectifying it in a good way. The best part is Basecamp connects with a wide variety of different wearables that are currently available on the market. 
This includes Apple, Garmin, Fitbit, Polar, Withings, Aura, and soon even Whoop. And what's really cool is if you've been wearing one of these devices for a while now, as soon as you get connected to the modern tinnitus base camp, we're able to pull all of that data so we can get a head start on your tinnitus treatment. Now you might be thinking, that all sounds great, Dr. Cliff. I'd really like to start looking into my HRV and seeing how we could use that to improve my tinnitus, but where the heck do I find someone who uses the modern tinnitus base camp? Well, if you want to experience data-driven tinnitus care for yourself, all you got to do is go to my website, moderntinnitus.co, not .com, but .co, and click on the Find a Provider tab. Then schedule a consultation with a tinnitus clinician who is on the cutting edge of tinnitus care. Our modern tinnitus specialty centers are the first and only clinics to incorporate biometric monitoring using our Basecamp platform. I'm sure there's some tinnitus clinics out there that'll try to take your smart device and look at your HRV data that way, but that's like going into a surgery with a butter knife. Modern tinnitus specialty centers are at the tip of the spear when it comes to using and understanding your biometric data, including HRV, when it comes to treating tinnitus. And HRV is only one of the many biomarkers that we're looking at that we believe will eventually unlock the mystery of tinnitus, eventually allowing us to predict which tinnitus treatments will actually work best for you. But I want to know what you think. Do you like the idea of monitoring different biomarkers like HRV to give us insights into your tinnitus? Or do you like the old school way of just going based off of how you feel? Let me know down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.